Heteropoda David Bowie. Still little, but definitely growing well. Hi, and welcome to another Monday update. I am really thankful for all of you who continue to support me and come to my channel. As you can see, this is a pretty small channel. Um, I do work hard um, and it takes a lot of time to make these videos and learn and practice and grow. So I really appreciate your support and it means a lot to me. If you weren't here, honestly, I'd probably just throw in the towel or, you know, go back to making videos like I used to um, for my duck channel, which was just for myself, um, like a recording for myself. But I feel like I have an opportunity to learn and grow. Um, and even in the past, you know, six, nine months, I've I think that I've come a long ways. I was so afraid to show my face in front of the camera and I was having a lot of difficulty speaking. I was feeling really self-conscious and uh, you know, I'm, I'm able to just be myself more often and if people don't like it, I see that sometimes when I post something goofy or I try to be funny, a couple people will leave, you know, and it's like, well, okay, that's all right. I don't let it get to me. I just, uh, I figure, okay, I'll move on. And, and as things get better around here, maybe there'll be something later on they'll miss out on. That's okay. Okay, so now that I've said that, I want to share with you something that I found on Instagram. This is from uh, ZTH Photography and Badger Pin and Patch Company. This is the Rubber Ducky Isopod. So it's a pin. Uh, anyway, I got this isopod pin. It's a Rubber Ducky Isopod. I tried to find some Rubber Duckies online and you know, I really couldn't find any here in the States. Maybe I just don't know where to look but they are the cutest, cutest isopods ever. As far as my Monday update, I mean, there's been some events around here this past week. As you know, I had, you know, this shelf here. I had this table over on this side and I have this new shelf, but right now it only has one actual, well, it's a shelving unit, it only has one shelf on it because the other shelves, they need to be replaced. So I need to get uh, three of the shelves cut for that and that will give me you know this space up here gives me three more shelves I was able to move my grandma stola pulchra the snot gurgle over here she was over on the table over there and I put my flat rock scorpion into a 10 gallon tank um, she was in, in a really big tank and it just wasn't really necessary um, so anyway, this is, this is my workspace now, uh, and I have this plastic, it's all sealed around the edge in case anyone escapes, and I've, um, just caulked or taped all around the floor, I have, uh, netting on the vents, just in case, you know, someone gets out, um, and that brings us to our bad news for the week. Uh, someone did escape and I and you know it's always hindsight 2020 like hey let me beat myself up before anyone else beats me up right um, if I hadn't done this you know I could have prevented it if I hadn't done that you know what stuff happens to all of us I know there's people out there who don't think that's true but doesn't happen to them of course but anyway I messed up and I I didn't judge correctly so I went to feed one of my tarantulas and I'm not gonna even say which one right now I'm gonna wait because I've got the room sealed off and I'm just hoping that she comes back and I can have a celebration instead um so that's why I'm not going to say, but 
I went to uh, give her some roaches. And I thought, you know, she's acting hungry. She's been out, you know, uh, near near the edge of her web. I think she's ready to eat. This will be the perfect opportunity to get a picture of her, set up my camera and all that, and give her some food. And the roaches um, went inside of her web and scared her. And all I heard was basically... And I was like, oh my gosh, it happened so fast. Just like everyone says, um, it happens fast. In this case, I heard her, so that was great. And I looked underneath the table. I had my catch cup ready. I had um, the lid for the catch cup. And she was in such a precarious place that I thought, okay, if I don't do this perfectly, she's going to just run up over the table and be gone. And so I turned to get a paintbrush and I turned back, gone, gone. And um, I spent, whew, I mean, I spent so many hours in this room. I looked everywhere and uh, what I'm thinking is, and this is, this is hindsight again, you think that you've you've proofed a room really well, escape proofed it, and then you find things, you find things, you find things like, here, let me show you. If you can see this, this desk is missing one of the plastic covers. And that's just one, um, this table. I didn't think about this table it has these long uh, pipes and let me turn the camera around and I'll show you where I think she, she ran up that way across the table and she was over here. I think that on that side, she went into the end of one of these. These, I tested them. I used a cold a hair dryer that was on cool, and I put it in the end to try and blow some air in there, hoping that she would come out. I did that, um, and I, she didn't come out. The good news is she's not absolutely tiny. Um, she's not very big either I feel pretty disappointed um, so that's out of the way now you know I really felt I don't know it's hard to share these kind of things if you've had to share something like this it's hard I think sometimes that maybe that comes from a, a place in our lives where we've been criticized a lot and where you haven't been allowed to make mistakes. Um, and we have fear that someone's going to come along and say, oh, you're stupid. You know, you're stupid. Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Well, and to those people, once again, <laughs> for my friends as well, for my other friends in the YouTube community, I'm going to say, shit happened. I'm talking about my friend Dave over at Erie Arachnids and his latest breeding um, with the Euaclis species red, um, you know, considered to be one of the most docile species, and he didn't suspect he would have any trouble with them. Um, and uh, the, the male got munched. And, uh, yeah, there's some pretty flaming criticism there in the comments. And um, it's just like, why? Why? I mean, really, why? What's the point? It's... It's not going to accomplish anything. We make mistakes. Everybody does. Even brain surgeons. Uh, let's just be kind to each other, huh? And let's move along. Um, the next thing that I want to share with you is something I want to do for Halloween. Um, take a look up here on the wall. Do you see this zebra mask? I made this for Halloween. It actually has real bones in it. 
that I found out on some BLM land. And this is all made out of our local entertainment newspaper called The Inlander. And I made this mask for my boyfriend five or six years ago and we celebrated Halloween and it was just, it was so fun. I am going to make some masks for Halloween. I'm going to make uh, tarantula masks. And I really like that picture that's been circulating on the internet. I will insert it here. Of the tarantula face on a human body in the movie theater eating a cricket. And I'm gonna make some of those masks and I'm gonna do this this next week, this coming week. And it, it really, really, it really shouldn't take that long to make these masks. It'll be a lot easier, you know, than, than it seems. And so I'm gonna share that whole process with you in a video. And hopefully if someone wants to make some of those for Halloween, they can. So that's what I'm gonna have for you coming up here. Uh, other than that, I think I've talked enough. Uh, so thank you for joining me for this update. And uh, I do have a tarantula death match on Wednesday. I have them all planned ahead for the next three weeks. Uh, this next one coming up is a little long, but it's fun. So I hope you like it. So thank you, my friends. And go check out Eerie Arachnids. Uh, if you haven't already, he um, has a nice channel there. He's a good person. So, over and out.